This video is going to show you how to take a Singer model 66-1 which has a rear clamping foot and upgrading it to the common side clamping feet so you don't have to do any special attachments or anything else like that. This will work on any of the 66's. It was up to 1923 that they changed it over. Uh, to show you real quick, we're going to zoom in. It's a matter of pulling the face plate off. But to start with the rod, this is taken from a 6618. It is uh, 8 and 9 sixteenths inches long from this end to this end. You can also take from a, a Singer 127 or a, a 27. Those are longer. You could trim it down or ground it on a grinding wheel if you wanted. It's not really necessary because it'll stick up about a quarter of an inch above the top. Uh, so it's just it's a matter of choice with that. Um, you cannot use the 201s or the 1591s or 1530s. Their presser foot arms are too short. So we're going to pull the face plate off and I'll show you inside a couple things you got to touch. Okay, for starters, you have one screw up here you just want to loosen a little bit. Just to give it some slack, take off your thumb screw and remove your nose plate. Now inside you have a spring and then there's a set screw right here. Not this one that holds on the uh, for the thread, but that goes to the presser foot arm. This you need to unscrew and remove. There's a little washer below it. If this is stuck, you can put WD-40 on it. It's not a lubricant, but it will dissolve the old oil. You also have a screw on the side to remove your stem. Now the same with these, removing the stem, if you've got buildup rust or oil, you can put WD-40 on it. It helps to dissolve the old oil, and it'll help you get it out of the uh, machine. Now you have a little play too, if you look on your original foot with the arm and I'll explain that when we go to set the new rod in. So I'm going to remove this screw, loosen this set screw and unscrew this assembly and show you the next step. Okay I've removed the bottom foot assembly and you can always save that. Um, people uh, do still uh, need those parts so you may want to sell them. They're not worth much but it's good because uh, a lot are lost. So here's that little washer I was telling you about on top of the stem. Slide the spring up. And make sure these parts don't fall out, but after loosening it and I had to do the WD-40 trick, the rod slides right out. It's been probably a hundred years since the screw for the presser foot left has been tightened, so you want to retighten that. Those are always loose. Uh, it just happens. It's a hundred years old. Um, so next we take our new shaft and just slide it right down into everything, right back down into parts. And down into the machine. And pop our spring or washer and our foot in place. Okay now I want to show you. I put the foot on and everything. You get your feed dogs under here and it's important to line up the foot with the hole. This is why I go with the non-hinged foot because sometimes you can get one of those that's bent. Um, and make sure your needle goes all the way down and all that's lined up and then press down on the top to make sure your foot's down and then this screw you want to tighten it. Now don't tighten it super tight but just get it into place holding it down and just snugging it. Um, this is to keep your foot from going sideways. So this is lined up with our feed dog completely down. So there's, there's no, I can run my fingers over, there's nothing grabbing it. This way you have your foot is flat against your 
your throat plate or needle plate. Now next what I'm going to show you is getting that proper amount of tension. Our foot's lined up over to feed dogs. Uh, this is down with fair tension, not a whole lot, but just unset the screw a little bit. Keep your finger on top of the rod and just lift this so slightly so you're giving a little bit of pressure. Tighten it down so you can see I've got that little bit of gap like we had in the in the beginning. Now it's approximately I think 5 16ths is the foot clearance when you're lifted up. This is just easier if you can't get a ruler in there or whatever. But like I say, you have a little bit of play, which means that your spring is giving pressure on your foot. And that's really it. That's all you have to it. Put the plate back on, you're good to go. Now you can use all of the standard Singer attachments that were made all the way up through the 50s for low shank, low straight shank machines. And that's it.